Hello everybody, my name is Dr. Shah, and today we'll talk about Mitroannular Plane Systolics Excursion, also known as MAPSI. Our learning objectives. We'll talk about what is MAPSI, how to measure MAPSI, and how to use MAPSI to assess LV function. What is MAPSI? MAPSI is the displacement of the mitral valve annulus plane, and this reflects the LV longitudinal contraction during systole, and that itself accounts for about 60% of the stroke volume. Let me bring your attention to this area. That's where the mitral valve annulus is. And as the heart contracts, you can see that this area moves up and down, and that is the displacement of the mitral valve annulus plane. Measuring that displacement will allow us to assess the LV function. To measure MAPC, you first obtain the four chamber view, and then you go into end mode, and then you align the M mode line against the lateral wall of the left ventricle near the mitral valve area, and you will get something like this. So here are the displacement or the excursions of that mitral valve annulus area. And then you can measure the slope that's uprising, and that is your MAPC. So here for this picture, the MAPC here as measured by this yellow line, it's 1.28. Lastly, we'll talk about how MAPC translates to approximate LV function. If there's a decreased MAPC, then that means there's possible LV systolic dysfunction. So average normal values have been reported in the range of 12 to 15 millimeters. And if it's greater or equal to 10 millimeters, it indicates a normal ejection fraction. If it's less than 8 millimeters, it means impaired ejection fraction. And if it's less than seven millimeters, it means severely impaired ejection fraction. That makes sense. As if the wall is not really moving that well, then, you, then that means the patient's in heart failure, and therefore the excursion will be low. But if the patient has a normal ejection fraction, then that means the walls are contracting with each beat very strongly, and there's high displacement. So a higher MAPC means uh, about normal ejection fraction. And this is my reference. If you thought this video was helpful, please like, subscribe, and watch out for my next video.